I've already made my case for the value of exposing to the right and the benefits to image quality that can be gained from not making really big highlight and shadow recovery adjustments to single exposures. In this chapter, I'm going to take a few minutes to pound those ideas into the ground a little bit further. Admittedly, as camera dynamic range and noise quality continue to improve, the benefits of exposure blending will become less of a factor. Bracketing for dynamic range will need to be done less frequently, and when it is needed, it will be possible to take fewer exposures with more exposure value stops between them. This is already the case for people who are using some of Nikon and Sony's newest cameras. Eventually, we may reach a point where a single exposure is all that is needed no matter which camera you use or how high the dynamic range in a scene is. Until then, the majority of us can gain some benefit and improve image quality from blending exposures. As I mentioned previously, even in cases where the dynamic range can be recorded with a single exposure in my camera, I'll often still choose to bracket and blend exposures to achieve better quality. Here's an example where I could technically use either the darker exposure or the lighter exposure to make single exposure adjustments and finish the image. However, recovering the shadows in the darker exposure leads to some pretty bad shadow noise. So this is the darker exposure that I've recovered shadow detail in and this is the lighter exposure and back to the darker exposure again. If I tried to use the lighter exposure instead then recovering the bright parts of the sky can bring in some detail But if we compare the colors in the brightest part of the sky, they're not even close to accurate. So this is the recovered lighter exposure, and this is a more properly exposed sky. And I'm even going to zoom in on that just so that you can see what we're talking about. So properly exposed sky and recovered overexposed sky. In chapter 11, I demonstrated that this single middle exposure value photo of this scene could be developed without blending, but it required some major work recovering highlights and shadows. It looks pretty good, and for screen viewing it may be good enough, but the sky colors and shadow details are not as good as they could be. This version was created by blending a plus one exposure value frame with a minus one exposure value frame. The resulting sky color in the single exposure isn't nearly as accurate as it is in the blended image. And the shadow noise level, sharpness, and detail clarity is much worse in the single exposure than it is in the blended image. When maximum image quality and color accuracy is my priority, I'll choose to blend exposures, even when it may not technically be necessary and even though it requires more time and effort on my part. It's personal choice depending on your intentions, expectations, and how the image will be used, but it is useful to have a grasp of the pros and cons when you're deciding what you're going to do.